welcome back to Mental Health Week 2016 and today's topic is what does recovery mean to you? I chose this topic because I was in like a support group, not a support group, about a month ago and we were talking about what recovery means to us. And it was interesting because every person that I talked to had a different definition of what recovery means for them. Everyone is different in where they want to go and how they see themselves recovered. So I thought that'd be a really good topic just to talk about recovery today. As you know, this video is going up a little bit late, so I had time to watch a few other YouTubers' videos. And the theme that I saw when I was watching their videos is they see recovery as being more independent, being free from their symptoms, not having a mental illness anymore. A lot of them said free of symptoms, and that would be amazing if one day I just woke up and I was free of my symptoms. But recovery doesn't really work like that. Recovery is a long process. Like I always say, it takes a lot of time and it's very draining, very exhausting, and sometimes you want to give up, but you shouldn't. Recovery for me, personally, and what I try to tell you guys is recovery means coping with my symptoms. Not necessarily being symptom free, but just coping with my symptoms. So if I get the urge to self-harm, I can go to my coping skills and do a healthier form of expressing my emotions that's not cutting or not burning or not hitting myself. It's taking that urge and putting it towards something positive. Recovery for me is yes, being more independent and working on my anxieties, like my car anxiety. I know I can't have that anxiety for the rest of my life and yes, I need to work on it. So recovery for me is working on myself, working on those anxieties, trying to lessen those anxieties. Basically, it's just trying to lessen the anxiety that I have. Like you guys said, lessening the symptoms. With my depression, I know that that's never going to go away. For some people with depression, all they need is to get on medication or talk to someone or go to therapy or go see a psychiatrist and they feel better. So don't think that you're never gonna get better because everyone is different. But for me personally with my depression, I know that for the rest of my life it's gonna be an up and down process. And right now I'm in one of those low processes. I'm in a really low point because of school right now, because of changes, and changes are really hard for me. So when you're at your lowest point is when you should be really working on your recovery because it's the most important time to work on your recovery, and that's what I'm doing right now. A lot of people think that recovery is just you're cured, like the common cold, but that's not what I see. I see managing symptoms, I see working on myself every single day, and I see myself maybe not fully getting better, but working on it every day and knowing that I'm doing the best I can. That's all I can really say. Recovery is for me. So what is recovery for you? Because it's different for everyone else because everyone wants to go different places in their recovery. My question for you is, when do you feel recovered? When do you think you start recovery? When do you think you're recovered or cured or whatever you want to label it as? Let me know down below in the comments. Tomorrow is the last day of mental health week. It's very, very exciting. I'm having a meetup tomorrow, 8.30 at William Land Park in Sacramento. You can map quest it. Um, at 8.30, I'll be at the NAMI Sacramento booth from 8.30 to the walk starts. There's gonna be speakers, there's gonna be resources, there's gonna be organizations, there's gonna be me. So if you're coming, let me know. It might rain, but NAMI Sacramento says that rain or shine, we are walking. So bring an umbrella, bring your rain boots, bring your hood, bring all the, your hand warmers, and come walk with me. I would love to meet you. If you are coming, let me know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with the last mental health video, which is the hashtag I'm stigma free video. You can still send in your videos and your pictures on Instagram using the hashtag MHStigmaFree. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this week, and everyone who's participating, thank you so much. It's been amazing watching your videos. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.